Blessed to be everybody and welcome to another episode of Witch Please. It is I, Odin Asir, along with my son, who is here today to assist me. Exactly. Say what you gotta say, little man. Put it out there. <laughs> now, Mark, Archangel Metatron has an affinity with children, especially gifted children, star children, rainbow children. He has an affinity with all children, and he does not neglect any children, but those are the children that he has a strong affinity with. Those are the gifted ones. So, I thought for the first part of this video, I would bring my little guy in here, and we would be able to show you that I do have him here. So if you hear some screaming and yelling, like that, that's because he's here and he should be here. Okay? Exactly. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the items that you are going to be needing to make this first part of the Cafe Incense, or the Archangelic Cafe Incense, which is for Metatron, is you will need a sieve, a bowl, a pestle and mortar, a shot glass, a sensor, a white candle, and the second jar for your incenses. As well as, do not forget, supplies. Or sorry, sorry, supplies is a brand. Charcoal bricks. Okay. Whatever one you can afford, boo. Whatever one you can afford. You will also be needing a lighter, as well as the first herb that we will be grinding down today, which is lavender or lavendula officinalis. And for those of you witches who are like me, who do love the grinding, oh, I do, but I've got a child and time is of the essence, okay? Don't have much of it. So, That's actually a coffee grinder. It makes easy work of anything. If you're making your cascarilla powder, if you're powdering down herbs, darling, let me tell you something. If time is of the essence, if you have very little time, it is going to be a godsend. And for those of you who are like, oh, well, you shouldn't be really using stuff like that, let me be the first person to tell you, if you're a practitioner, you know intent is the key element. Intent. Oh. Not what you use, but the intent. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to pray over our Archangel Metatron candle. Oh, for small children. 
especially children that are gifted psychically, that are star children or rainbow children. He has, he loves to be able to guide and watch them. Now, for those of you who don't know, Archangel Metatron is one of only two angels that do not end in the suffix E-L. The other archangel being Archangel Sandalphon. Both of these angels were, in fact, humans before they ascended to the angelic realm and became archangels. They were so pure, such pure beings, that they were able to actually take the rank of archangel. Now, Archangel Metatron was actually the prophet and scribe Enoch, and the Archangel Sandalphon was actually um, Elijah. The prophet Elijah. So if you think about this for a second, these were humans that were so pure within their day-to-day, -day, within their lives, that they ascended into the Archangel status. Another interesting thing about Archangel Metatron is that Archangel Metatron is the keeper of the Book of Life, or aka the Akashic Records. He scribes everything into the everything that was, everything that is, and everything that will be. He is the Archangel that is responsible for watching over our spirit guides, our guardian angels, as well as, as I said, scribing within the Akashic Records. Another interesting thing that I find, and another reason why I love Archangel Metatron so much, is that he has a very, very powerful, but yet very loving and very transformational type of energy around him. It has been said in the past, and he has been actually associated with Jesus Christ. It has been said by people that Archangel Metatron is the bridge or the gap between us as humans and the divine. And that he was the Archangel that brought our prayers up to the one, the source, whatever you want to call the divine being. He was the one. Now, if you take a look at Jesus, Jesus was the same. Jesus was to break our prayers, to bridge that gap between mankind and God. So there is a very strong connection between Archangel Metatron as well as Jesus Christ. It is said that Archangel Metatron stands at the right hand of God, sits at the right hand of God, and Archangel Sandalphon on the left hand of God. And it is said that Archangel Metatron's name is supposed to be the lesser Yaudei Vehe, which is the name of God. So if you think about that as well, you will realize that this being is very, very powerful. This being is very much connected with God or the Source or the One or what have you. So this is why I always find it great to work with Archangel Metatron. Now for those of you who want to know what would I do, how, what would I call upon Archangel Metatron for, there are many different things. Okay? If you have children and your children are suffering from ADD or whatnot, you can contact Archangel Metatron and ask him to assist them with this transformation or allow their natural abilities and powers to come to the surface. Another wonderful thing for Archangel Metatron is if you have a hard time getting things in order, whether they be your personal life, your professional life, your home life, whatever life it is, even if it's just your home, you can't get your home in order, you can call upon the powers of Archangel Metatron to assist you with putting everything in the correct category and place. Archangel Metatron is one of the easiest angels to work with, I find simply because he is so very, he, he understands what it's like to be on this earthly plane of existence. He knows, he's experienced it, he's lived it. So he has an affinity and he has a compassion. Now I'm not saying the angels don't have compassion, but he has a knowingness of what it's like to be within this type of dense reality. So when you do contact Archangel Metatron, I find it's a very swift contact, and you feel his, ed his energy and his presence in your world very strongly. Now, I've worked with many other Archangels, Archangels Jeremiah, Archangels Mikael, Raphael, Gabriel, Camiel, Zuriel, all of them. I've worked with so many different angels, and they do come in very quickly, and they are very powerful within their, their presence when they're there. Um, however, with Archangel Metatron, I, I, it's just an easier process. I don't find that, at least for myself personally, 
personally, when working with him, I didn't find that I was confused or, oh, am I doing this right? It was a very easy process. It was very, you could, I prayed to him, I asked him to come into my life, I asked him to guide me and help me get everything in order. And literally the next morning, I could feel the difference in my world. As where when I worked with the other archangels, I find that I felt their presence swiftly, but it just didn't feel the same. Yes, they were powerful, yes, they were strong, and yes, they were helpful. I'm not disrespecting any archangels, but it felt very different. It felt very comfortable. It felt very swift. It, it was just, and for those of you, you may have a different affinity with a different archangel, and you might find that process, but for me personally, I found working with Archangel Metatron to be very swift, very active, and very powerful indeed. When you're grinding, your lavender. What you want to do is you want to spend a little time with it. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, you know, you should meditate and think of what you want. And yes, you can do that. And I do that at some point in time as well. But I find that when you're doing this one with Archangel Metatron, I just let my mind wander. That's it. I just feel the energy that's around me. I feel peace. I feel calm. And I just let this energy just engulf me. I let it come through my body. I let it go through my hands into the, the lavender, it's just, it's a, it's, it's a religious experience. That's the only way that I can put it. It's a religious experience. Now, I did take some time and put it in the coffee grinder because lavender has a, it's really quite difficult to grind down. And as I said, I do have a child and where Archangel Metatron is about children. I want to go spend some time with my guy. So I put it in here and I got it down to a very, very fine powder. And then what you're going to do now is you are going to take your sip and you're going to sip this out. Although it does grind down to a powder, you'll find that you'll have these little pieces like this that are left. So I would like to make sure that I get those all down too. Got some more in here that I'm going to be using. Pour this bad boy in here too. Yes, yes. And there we go. So now you have your powdered lavender. Um, you've blessed it. You, I can still feel the power over it right now. It's fantastic. You've blessed it. You've charged it. Now you want to take your shot glass. And what I do is I put it on a little piece of paper here. And then I put it in my shot glass. Now you want to get around an ounce of powdered herb. Now if you have a little less or a little more, that is fine. Please don't feel like you have to keep going back and forth unless you really feel you want to. Then of course, go with what works best for you. Now what I do is I take mine incense burner, and yes, it's a tuna fish can, because I'm a hoodooist, and all I need to do is be able to burn the incense, the charcoal briquettes. This is perfectly fine. Now you want to take a pinch of the lavender, and you want to place it on your charcoal briquette. Now you want to say your prayer. Archangel Metatron, I give this offering to you and ask that you bless this magical lavender with your essence so that I may grow and evolve spiritually, that I may feel your presence in my daily life, that you may be able to protect my home and my family and keep everything in order. I ask for your blessings, your wisdoms, your grace, and your presence in my world. I ask for your love, your honor, and your respect. And of course, I return love, honor, and respect to you, Archangel Metatron. With peace, blessings, and love, I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now that you've said your prayer and you did your offering, that's an offering that you just did, 
to Archangel Metatron. You want to take your shot glass or your ounce of powdered lavender and you want to place that into your bottle. You cap it up. And again, if you are using this cafe incense for your um, soul, any kind of transformations you want to do with the soul, you want to keep this in a dark place. If you're doing it for spiritual transformations, you want to keep it in a lighter place. Now, I know that I said this in the base incense to create the base for the incense. So if you decide that you want to do a mixture of both, you want to have the base where you work on your soul and then have the herbs where you work on the spirit, please feel free to keep the base in a dark place and the and the herbs in a lighter place, that's fine too. But if you're working with specifically soul or specifically spirit, you want to try and keep them in a dark or a light place. All right, everybody. So that is day one. Well, actually, it's day two. But it's day one of the actual grinding of the herbs. Um, I'm very excited. Thank you again for watching um, and allowing me to do this. This is very, very dear to my heart. And just the fact that I'm able to do this is a blessing in and of itself. For those of you who haven't subscribed, press subscribe, join the Witch Please family. You can also follow us on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, as well as Facebook. You can always check out our website at hocusandfocus.com. Or you can send an email to me at witchpleaseofficial at gmail.com. And of course, you can always leave comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer the ones that I can. Again, as I said, thank you for watching. I love doing these videos. I am so excited about this Archangelic Cafe Incense. This is something that I've never shared with anybody, really, except for my students that have reached a point where they need this. And, and this is the blessing. This is opening. It's fantastic. And again, thank you for allowing me to share this with you. I am really looking forward to next week where we will be working on another Archangel, Archangel Jeremiah. I am so stoked. I have an affinity for Archangel Jeremiah as well. You're going to find <laughs> that this, this Archangel Cafe Incense has truly been geared towards me and the angels that I connect with strongly. Thanks again for watching. I love having you in my space, in my home, and in my magic. And I will see you next week. <laughs> Blessed be y'all. <laughs> bye bye.